Today we're going to install rear seats on a 2014 Honda Sonata. Alright, we recently took out all the seats. Well, I took out the seats. So we could pressure wash them and now it's time to put them back in uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab these corner pieces and the flat pieces are going to be the internal pieces so you can tell this is the flat side so this side is going to go on the driver this flat side there it is it's going to go on the passenger so the way this is going to go down is you have one screw that holds it into place. I left it there so we don't lose the screws. So I'm gonna remove it from there. And then this piece here is gonna latch into this socket here, right in here. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to pull the seat bolt forward and place this in here. I'm gonna do this with two hands real quick. And like I said, you're gonna wanna pull the seat belt forward. I'm gonna need both hands to do this. But I just wanted to show you how this back piece is gonna go right in there. And then it sits down and it latches right in there. Or you screw it to secure it. All right, once you have it in there, you're gonna wanna secure it with the screw. Slide it over and put the screw in there. All right, and we're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to secure it, just like so. That ain't going nowhere. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. All right, and it's gonna be the same procedure with this side. You're gonna latch this to here, pull the seat belt forward, and put it into place. All right, one thing I did forget to mention is the uh, plastic clips that are originally here, you're gonna take them off and place them in its place right here. I had to do that to the other side and I forgot to record it, but I'm doing it to this side and now this will be able to slip in there. Gotta pull the seat belt forward and align it so I could bolt onto this bolt right here. All right, same thing with this side, just use the 12 millimeter socket to tighten it up perfect all right now we're gonna get the other pieces to assemble the rest of the seat which are these all right and we're gonna start with the small one first pick up the small one this has a little entry right there and there's a hook right there there. So the way we're going to do this is turn these seats upside down like so. Here's the axis to where the screws on. Go ahead and remove that real quick. This one goes right in there just like so. All the way over. You bring this flap over has a little latch right there. You could probably need two hands. <laughs> Let me do that real quick, and then you're gonna put on this screw. All right, once you have that screw in place, you're gonna go ahead and just drive it in. Make sure it's nice and secure. Put this flap over, like so. And bring the chair up. And there it is, there's the first piece. Now we're gonna grab the long bench and bring it in here. Not the seat seat, but the long one. <laughs> the recliner one. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pick this one up. And the same thing with this one. It has a little port right there. Bring this over. Bring the recliner piece back in. There it is. And then it's gonna go into here with that one there. 
just like so and just work it in there you probably will need two hands as well all right and like on the other one let's go ahead and remove the screw from where we placed it so we wouldn't lose it got leave that sucker is in there tight all right bring this flap over you're gonna need two hands here as well all right and once you have that in there let's go ahead and drive it in all right bring this flap back ah one thing i forgot to mention is put the seatbelt forward <laughs> All right, it's a simple fix. All you gotta do is just remove the screw, bring over the seatbelt, put it back into its place, put the screw back together, and you're ready to rock and roll. All right, and once you have that uh, installed correctly with the seatbelt over, bring the seatbelt over, close it, and there it is. All right, now it is, what we gotta do is just bring in the last piece, simple piece, it's a bench. And this has two screws that hold it into place right there and right there. So before we put in that seat, let me go ahead and remove them. They're right here. A little tricky to get to, but it needs to be done. Unless you don't want to. <laughs> Here's the other one. So now, we're going to put in our bench seat. We got to get all these seat belt buckles out. There's one here. Let's go to the other side. And then there's two here. center if you can see it there it is so now we just push our bench in and it has two little clicks where it clicks on to right here and we're set and then same thing on this other side all right now we're gonna put in our screws which like I said it's gonna be very very tricky right there I think the best way to access this is go to the rear on the trunk unlatch the seat bring the seat forward a tad and it exposes everything there get a closer look so there we gotta put in the screw Drive it in real quick. There it is. All right. There. And you're done. And that's how you install the back seats on a 2014 Honda Sonata. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out. Oh, 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 oh,